Hey everybody, Sarah here from VidGameAct.com. Here we are today back in Grounded, grabbing the Beefing Up achievement. This is to acquire any Tier 3 item. In the current build of the game, there are going to be two options for this. You have the Mint Mace as well as the Marksman Cap. Due to the random nature of the Crow Feather needed to get the Marksman Cap, we are going to cover the former, which is the Mint Mace. It's also a very useful melee weapon that does a ton of damage and is the strongest weapon in the game in the current build. So we're just going to go with this one. That being said, let's get started. So the first step in order to get the mint mace is trying to find the recipe, and in order to get the recipe, you are going to need the insect hammer. And the first step of getting the insect hammer is getting its recipe, so that's going to require you to kill at least one stink bug and then harvest it for its parts. Stink bugs, best place to find them is going to be the northeast field station. Make sure you set up camp here, set your spawn point, and then get to hunting. Stink bugs are going to be a little hard, especially if you're doing this with base stats, so try your best with this one. Try to whittle it down. If you can, build armor. Armor is important in this game. Or if you're impatient, you can also do our little infinite respawn trick whatever the case once you kill it make sure you harvest it for its parts you are also going to need quite a few parts so don't just stop at one you may need to kill two stink bugs because we also need the parts later on in order to actually build the mace once you have at least one stink bug part make sure you bring it back to the research station and then make sure you pop it in the analyzer and that should give you the recipe for the actual insect hammer. Now the insect hammer is also going to require some components. You should have already covered the first one, which is going to be actually stink bug parts themselves. You need four. So if you didn't have enough, or if you lost some, you are going to have to go back and kill more stink bugs. But that is how you get the first part. The next part is going to be the berry leather. Head to the southeast part of the map, which is going to be the berry bush. Your first time here, there should be a ton of blueberries on the floor. You're going to need an axe with you. Make sure you chop the berries and basically they will break into chunks. You're going to have to pick up the chunks and then from those chunks, you can make leather out of them. If there are no berries on the floor or you've exhausted all the berries for other builds, you're going to have to climb up into the bush and chop them down or you can shoot them down with arrows. Whatever the case, as long as you get the berries on the ground, chop them up with an axe, you should be good for the chunks. You're going to need quite a few because the exchange rate for chunks to leather isn't so good it's going to need three chunks per leather and you need quite a bit for this build and then finally the last component is going to be the boiling gland which requires you to kill some bombardier beetles there should be a few between the border of the berry bush area and the original map so make sure you head over here next to these rocks and there should be a few hanging around here the Bombardier is a pretty tough enemy since it has this explosive attack that will kill you. However, it is also the easiest enemy to cheese. The best strategy is to keep rushing it. As long as you stay in its face, it has no close-up attack, so you can just keep stabbing it to death and then just keep having it backed up. As long as it doesn't back up into anywhere dangerous, you should be able to kill it rather easily with enough patience. Make sure you loot it and hopefully you grab a boiling gland from it. Take everything back to the workbench. First thing you want to do is you want to break the berry chunks up to berry leather. Again, it's going to be three chunks to get one piece of leather and you are going to need quite a bit so make sure you do that and then just combine that with the stink bug parts as well as the boiling gland it's going to be four stink bug parts four berry leather and one boiling gland to make the insect hammer Make sure you equip the hammer. You want to make sure you head to this landmark called the Ice Caps Mints. It's going to be northwest of the Mysterious Machine. You should notice this Tic Tac looking case right here with a bunch of mint chunks in it. What you want to do is you want to make sure you take your hammer and you want to hit the latch in order to open it. Hit it again in order to pop the cap off. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure you crouch and then crawl through the hole. You are going to notice these mint candies right here that require a tier 2 hammer to break. Thankfully, the insect hammer is going to qualify as such. So just make sure you break them apart and you should get this resource called the mint chunks. After picking up your first one, you should also get the recipe for the mint mace. So while you are here, what you want to do is you want to make sure you grab all the mint chunks you can. There should be 20 available to you. It's a pretty rare resource, so might as well grab as many as you can. And you also need some for the actual mint mace. As for the rest of the ingredients in the recipe, you are going to need silk rope and flower petals. Thankfully, the base of these two can be found in the same area. You want to make sure you head to the area connecting the original map to the North Pond, this little strip of land right here. There should be a ton of blue flowers here. What you want to do is you want to make sure you head here. If it's your first time here, there should be a bunch of flower petals on the floor. They come in two flavors, this kind of violet color as well as yellow. Make sure you pick up as many as you can. If you have exhausted them for other builds or there aren't any flower petals on the floor you're going to need to have to take a bow and arrow with you and shoot the actual buds of the flowers to get them to drop 
Also, while you are here, you may notice that there are a ton of spider webs. Make sure you break them and then grab the web fibers. They are the important ingredient in making silk rope. You can also get them by trying to kill the orb weaver spiders, which are going to be plentiful here if you are brave enough to do so. Nonetheless, once you have both, it's on to the next step, which is to build a spinning wheel in order to convert the spider web fiber into silk rope. You need acorn tops, clay, ant parts, sap, and crude rope. Sap can be found on branches all over the place. There is a branch next to the starting area that has three drops, and it does respawn frequently, so make sure you grab a few of that. As for the rest, if you remember from the basketball hoop achievement, you are going to want to take a hammer over to the oak tree area. Make sure you break an acorn and then take the shells, which you are going to use to make a shovel. The acorn top is also found here, obviously, so make sure you grab that, which you need for the spinning wheel. Take these shells and then craft that into a shovel. Take that to the southeast pond and then make sure you equip the shovel. And then you want to look for these brown patches near the shoreline. You're going to use the shovel on them in order to get clay. And that should be all of the basic ingredients. As for the only complex ingredient that needs you to do an enemy encounter, it's going to be the ant parts. You want to make sure you look for ants. Easiest place is going to be an ant hill, obviously, so there should be one to the west of the starting area. Pick a fight with some ants and make sure you try to kill them and then steal their parts. Ant parts can drop from either ant type, so if you want, don't want to deal with any soldier ants, you can try to find some weaker worker ants. Just try your best to fight them solo because they will gang up on you if you're not too careful. But as long as you kill one, make sure you gut it for its parts and and then quickly get out of dodge take everything back to a workbench and then just make sure you combined everything in to the spinning wheel it should be under storage and utilities there it is acorn top clay ant parts crude rope and sap pop it down somewhere and then once you have it you are going to take all the web fibers you farmed make sure you add it in and it should start spinning the process is going to take a very long time so find something to do in the meantime you also only can spin four ropes at a time, so that adds to the length, so try your best to do something to keep you occupied, but when you come back and everything is done spinning, just make sure you take it out of the wheel, and then you should have all of the things you need in order to build the mace. Back to the workbench, make sure you head in to tools and then craft the mint mace. It's going to be five mint chunks, nine silk ropes, and eight flower petals. So make sure you have everything and then once you craft it, you should be good for the strongest weapon in the game, but also this achievement. There it is, it's going to be for 50 gamer score, and that's all there is to it.